What's up, everybody, and welcome to Holy Shit, a video by Barrows Boy. My god, it's been, let's see, it has been five months and three days since I last posted Stats in Progress video, and that's what you're getting right now, Stats in Progress, episode seven. And wow, has a lot changed. Obviously, five months, your account kind of changes a little bit. Um, and if you guys want to see, just to make this video even more interesting and I guess special, if you want to go back, watch the last episode of Stats in Progress, where apparently I had the stuffiest nose known to man. Uh, I guess I was feeling a little under the weather. Um, but you can go back, you can click the annotation on screen right now. Um, if you want to go watch that, obviously that is up to you. But you're here now for this video, so let's get to it. Boom, pin, all right. Great start. <laughs> one one moment, please. Fancy editing to put in my pin. All right. 42 mil cash stack. Not the greatest. Could be a lot higher. Basically, the highlight of this bank video, guys, is going to be what I'm doing in RS. Not so much the bank, although my bank is around 250 mil, as you can see from the title of this video. Um, and that's due to a lot of things. Last time we were here, I had about a 90 mil bank, and I had to pay back my friend Brandon. Um, might have been a little more at the time, actually. I had a lot of money stored up in my kingdom, as well as a bunch of just random stuff in my bank. And that hasn't changed. I'm still a mega hoarder. As you can see, I got 26k blood runes. That stack just keeps growing and growing. Obviously, my mind rune stack, um, all that kind of stuff, that just goes up and up, and I don't really do anything about it. But um, I believe sometime this week on my live stream, for those of you who don't know, where the fuck have you been? That's all I really do anymore. Um, is live stream on the old twitch.tv. Um, sometime later this week, I will be spending a day dumping almost everything. The mind runes will stay, but almost everything else is going to go. We're going to get rid of these lava battle stabs. There's all sorts of other stuff I have to show you that I'm going to be dumping and, you know, hanging on to, etc., etc. So let's just move on in this video. We got our potions now. We've had some new potions introduced into the game since. I've added some different ones to my potion area. I've got basically 1k four dose brews chilling in here and that's because I got 90 herb lore a while ago and during my 90 herb lore I was spoiler alert to the stats section later in this video um, during that I was making brews and because of the court beast trailer or the teaser uh, brews skyrocketed so making brews was actually very profitable if not very easy break even um, I unfortunately finished my brews as they started kind of coming back down to their natural price so um, had I sold these brews for, you know, the price they were at the time, I would have ended up losing quite a bit of money. So I'm actually just hanging on to them in hopes that sometime down the line when Corp comes, you know, getting closer and closer, I'll be able to dump these or hang on to them to my for myself. Um, but hopefully dump them for a pretty reasonable price down the, down the lane. And I've got all sorts of plans with that in the future. Uh, moving on, I've been farming as well. So we've got a lot of Torstals here, been growing those. Um, as well as limpwort roots, I've been I've started doing my daily farm runs and really probably about five times every day. It's such good money if you're not already doing farm runs. I'll be covering that in a video later, sometime in the next month. Yes, that's the timetable I have because I'm a lazy asshole. Um, feel free to check that out. I will I will go through how I do my herb runs and hopefully help some of you guys out because it's easy money. It's free money every day and it's guaranteed for the most part. So, moving on, let's let's make the rest of this pretty quick. Gem stacks continue to grow. We got some maple logs from the Old Kingdom. The Rune Bolt stack continues to grow from Lava Dragons. We've seen the introduction of Elite Clues since I last made you guys a video. Um, so that's a thing. We got you, tons of U's and Magic Trees from literally... That's just from me cutting down my own trees for farming. So that's pretty cool. Large amount of those going. Um, nothing else really special in here. Iron Arrows stack continues to grow because of the Maze Random, stuff like that. Etc, etc. My Rune stack is much more fleshed out. The last time you saw my bank, guys, it was like just returned from hack I can finally show you my bank it's finally at a point where I like it um, we've we've you know there's bits of progress going on we got 86 rune kites from clues and lava dragons alike all sorts of other stuff obviously from various PVM things those are part of the stacks I will be nuking so to speak sometime later this week on my stream dragon longs from the new elite clues as well as those D maces Got all sorts of dehyde sets going here for elites, and basically this is the this is the clue section of my bank. You guys have seen this a while. It used to really only have these two rows, and obviously the blue dehyde was where the red dehyde was, and there's all these clue items. So I got all these new ones for 
elites like the sled and the dragon jewelry you sometimes need um spotted cave the circle all these are for remote clues for the elites and of course this is about where my planks are just from elites although some of these oak planks and something's missing here i wonder what it is let's see can i cheat down here we'll figure it out later but um some of these oak the oak planks aren't exactly accurate because i have used quite a few to get some skills up which obviously i wonder what skill it could be um you'll obviously see that soon so there there's all my clue stuff still got the proselyte random balls of wool you know me <laughs> yes because barrel's boy you know me known for his large stacks of balls in his bank all the time anyway coconuts been doing a lot of farming like i said watermelons that's actually not a lot of watermelons if you if you do watermelon farming you'll know 1000 not really that much because i've only done about i don't know 300 seeds or so so that'll be uh that'll be increasing in the coming future as soon as i give up on limp words and decide to switch over to doing watermelons instead of those that's basically the decision i have to make anyway those coconuts are actually worth quite a bit they can go as much as 2k each um so that's pretty cool. The purple sweet stack has increased quite drastically since you guys last saw me. More than doubled, um, obviously, my rares and my god sword shards from that terrible, terrible place called God Wars. Uh, although it has been relatively good to me since this last video. I know that's not current at all, but since the last video, I've had some decent luck. Still no hilts, but making money nonetheless. Tons of stuff from Lava Dragons. I've been using my shard stack consistently to train Herb Lord, but these 2,500 bones and the 3,100 hides are all from Lava Dragons since the Elite Clue update hit. And uh, that's a lot of money. I, I won't do the calculation right now, but these are probably around 2,600 each. These probably 2,200 each. So good amount of money sitting there. Obviously, we got our Chaos Fanatic area where we killed the Chaos Fanatic. We get stuff. Silver ore still can't get rid of it. It's a shame. Moving on down, I do believe I got a 99 since you guys last saw me, 99 HP, so there's my cape. Uh, sold my rune knife stack, unfortunately. It was at about 1,000, so I got a mill for that. That was rather nice. Here we got my farming stuff, all out of palm seeds. Hopefully I'll be able to buy some more later this week. Um, crystal keys looking lovely, and speaking of crystal keys, we got those crystal keys. We also have over 50 glories kicking, 54 of them to be precise, so... Uh, my goal for the Crystal Keys, get 100, do them all on stream, make a little event of it kind of thing. Um, straggling, Verox, Brassy. We got all sorts of alkables from Lava Dragons. Again, what I've been basically doing with my RuneScape life has been farming, Herblore, Lava Dragons, and other Elite Clue dropping stuff, and Barrows. That's like it. That's like what I've, that's what I've done, basically. So all these alkables are from Lavas, as well as some stuff from Clues and, you know, the random fire giant on a Slayer task, that kind of stuff. Some Farseer Helms from DKs. Got into DKs quite a bit the last uh, over the last couple months. That was rather fun. Bolt Rack stack continues to grow. Here's a Gilded Plate Skirt from one of my first Elite Clues. We got an Archer's Eye now. And here's where you guys will be like, holy shit, you're so rich now. What the fuck happened? At least if you're only on my YouTube channel. We got a Robin and Rangers. It's kind of useless. Having this gear is really not necessary for anything. In fact, bringing Ranger Boots places is kind of irresponsible, seeing as it's like 10 mil in boots that you're always going to lose a raw shark protects over ranger boots so you're going to lose your ranger boots if you're pvming with them um granted they are good for some you know some circumstances but if you're willing to bring the risk you know it's usually not worth it anyway it's gear i've always wanted in runescape and so i have it full armadil as well as the armor crossbow and the odium ward my very own dfs made out of my very own visage that you guys obviously if you watched the video of my visage drop you saw Nothing else different, really. We got the Gilded Dragon from the new Elite Clues. That, again, gear I've always wanted in RuneScape, D-Chain. It's just one of those things. And especially since this one was achieved with me and a viewer of mine, Herosian. Good friend, I suppose, these days. He's kind of sparse. Hero, I love you. Um, after my hack, we went to the Calphite Queen and, and grabbed ourselves a chain and a couple kills, which is pretty cool. So um, that's the chain. It's kind of like mine. Even though it's it's kind of heroes, but it's mostly mine. <laughs> since i've owned it for so long anyway moving on down we got our malediction ward of course some sinister keys pharaoh scepter now i'm so glad i have this now um nothing else has changed other than the occult necklace i guess the trident was is new as of now i can't really remember it's been so long anyway that's about it for the bank we got some amylase that's it though and i know it's crazy to think but oh and by the way i passed over these onyx bolt tips those are that's money right there i promise you anyway Let's look at the stats, because that's where I can really tell you what's improved. Holy shit, a lot has changed. Obviously, I got 99 range. Obviously, I got 99 mage. 99 HP. I might have gotten all three of these between the last video. 
In fact, I think I did. That's pretty crazy. Anyway, 90 herb lore and 90 farming. Two 99s that I kind of want. Farming is definitely on my list. Herb lore, I'm not really sure about right now. But farming is very expensive, and for whatever reason, I'm not willing to pay, like, probably what would end up being half as much for the 90 herb lore as it would be for the farming. I think farming is just much more impressive. And it's one of those 99s I never got in what is now RS3, so it's kind of on my, once again, going back to that bucket list type of thing. Um, some stats have changed, like smithing has gone up a little bit for the elite clues. Fishing has massively increased, so I can just kind of AFK sharks when I want to. Um, other than that, not a whole lot of changes. We got thieving for elite clues. But the big story, again, is is farming and herbal. That's been, like, my thing. That's my driving force behind what I do every day. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it. If you are watching this right now, chances are I am live, and you can see the annotation. It's probably on screen right now. Um, I stream every day of the goddamn week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, on my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash barrelsboy. Please feel free to join me there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will, t I say this in every video, but I will try my best to be more active on YouTube. I gotta get in that groove. It's important. Anyway, feel free to join me on the live stream. I hope to see you guys there. Make sure you say hi, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.